Hello and welcome to this tutorial about getting more than one piece of dialogue or audio into movies out and making it sound like a natural conversation or one piece of audio. We're going to be using Audacity which is a free piece of software you can download from the internet and it's very good. I would recommend downloading it unless you already have audio software of your own. First step of course is to record your audio. I've already done mine, you can see I've got one loaded here. Now I'm going to load up the other one and I'll show you how I got it to look like that. But first I should just say that you can record it in stereo, which is what I did, or you can record it in mono, which, mono, which probably makes it easier, but in saying that, you can change it to mono in Audacity. So um, it just depends whichever's easiest for you. I recorded these on a Mac, on, so these were WAV files, which are easily recognisable by Audacity. But if you've got a file that isn't recognised, then I'll show you what happens or what you can do. Let's load this other piece of audio that I've got. So we go up to File and then down to Import. And normally we just select Audio, but if it's unrecognizable by Audacity, we'd select Import Raw Data. Effectively, it does the same thing, but in this case, just Audio will do. Audio, I'm just going to load up my file here. There we go. So I'll just load this in. Now you can see it looks a little bit different from the one above it. Um, that's because I've already fixed the one above. Um, so here we go, I'll show you how we do it. Um, there's a little drop down box here which you can select change to mono and you can delete the noise at the bottom here or you can normalize it at the moment the way it is. I'm going to just select the drop down, split stereo to mono. I'm just going to delete this bottom bit because it's just noise like I said. Now we've got to normalize which is in effects, normalize. And then you can see here it's got it already brings up the settings it recommends for it, but you can change it to your own decibel level and whatever. And you can select a little preview there and it'll give you a little preview of the uh, track on how it's gonna sound, but I'm just quite okay that because I know how it's gonna sound. And you can see they look kinda similar. I mean they're at the same sort of volume as you can see. Um I won't play them just now, but Basically, I'll tell you, it's, uh, I've got odd numbers I'm reading out and even numbers I'm reading out. And as you can see, I'm going to put them together to create a sequence of numbers. So what to do now is, you can see up the top here, we've got selection tool. Um, and there's a zoom tool as well, which I'll show you about in a minute. You select your selection tool and you select your bit of silence that you want. Because the thing is, we need to get the noise profile of the silence so we can get rid of all the ums, the ahs and the, the silences so that there's no, so that it's just the me saying the numbers or whatever it is you've recorded. So use the selection tool up here. Select a piece of silence, you know, one of the gaps here. Go up to effect, down to noise removal, get noise profile and then, you know, select the audio track. Go back in, noise removal, OK that, and you can see it's thinning out the whole track for all the excess noise that sounds similar to what I've just selected there. Now you can do this for for all the intricate parts, like like I said, the ums and ahs, but I'm just doing it for the silence at the moment, just to make it easier for me. Um, so yeah, you might need to do that a couple of times to get it perfectly flat and all the silent bits. We do that for both pieces of audio here, and um, I'm going to do that but I'll show you something else first. So I'm just going to pause the video just now just to get all the audio cleaned up and then come back to you. Okay, so that's it all cleaned up, every single bit. And you can use the zoom tool. This is what I was going to show you. You get your zoom tool, click here, and then you can use your left button to zoom in and your right button to zoom out. And you can zoom in to the individual little bits in between each word that I'm saying and get right in amongst it and, you know, delete all the or silence all the audio you want in there. So that's what I've done. That's what I was doing when I paused the video there. Um, so we can just zoom back out to normal level. And that's what the zoom tool does. So the next tool would be the time selection tool. Um, so you use your selection tool. Click on a bit that you want to separate. So I'll do a bit at the end of the first. So I'll go to the end and I'll separate the last number that I said here. Okay, so click there. Okay, that's what I'm going to want to set. I'm going to want to separate this from the rest of the audio here. So I've clicked there and I'll press Control I, which um, highlights this bit that I want to, it basically detaches it. And then you select your time selection tool and you can see we can grab this piece at the end here now and move it along, which is very good. 
So that's exactly what I wanted. And now, like I said, I'm going to pause the video again just because I don't want you to watch me do all of this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it for each individual, each bit of silence here. I'm going to separate them all and split them all up. So I'm just going to pause the video just now. Okay, so that's it done now. I've got everything split up. And as you can see, there's loads of split bits of audio here and they've all been moved apart. So there's spaces in between them all. Okay, so now we're going to put them all back together. So I'm going to take the odd number, which is one, obviously start there. Take one, pin that first, slide two along, and you can see it goes yellow once it's lined up with that. And then get three, put that along there, and so on and so forth, and we'll just go keep going. Pause this, I'll come back in a second. Okay, so there we go, so it's all together now. So it's one big long piece of individual dialogue, or just me saying numbers really. But when you, once you come to save your final product, if you export it, and it exports it as an mp3 file in the mono format unless you click on the drop down box here and select change mono to stereo converts it into a stereo file and then when you export it it will be a mp3 stereo file it's totally up to yourself what you do i will do it i will do it this way actually so get your stereo file export it okay that and then it'll bring up a little box you can change the name of it and things like that okay your way through until you get the save file and so that's it done really i've got the save file now i'll get that and then i will open up the mp3 and i'll let you hear it and that's it for this tutorial so i hope i hope you found it helpful i'm going to post a post on the forum and hopefully that's very helpful for you um but yeah here we go so this is the finished product and thanks for listening one two three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20.